Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Hope your day is going well or will be going well. I'm uh, just trying to sage the area a little bit. Good vibes, good vibes. I sage a little more. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. Sorry I haven't been around for the last few days. It's just been one thing after another. Mostly doctor's appointments. And I always get mine early in the morning. So that kind of breaks into my card reading time. It's just been kind of hectic. I've been working on uh, um, make, making an intro video for this project that I'm working on with some other YouTubers that uh, will be discussed at a later time when it gets a little closer to release time. And I've been uh, editing videos. And you all saw the one video, I'm sure, or if not, it, it's up, uh, about the Bridge of the Dead. I called it that because how many times they said dead on the spirit box, well, the Necrophonics Act, app, app, <laughs> app. Within a short period of time, it was like just dead, 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 dead. My impressions of it all is that there was a kid hit there, probably a boy, somewhere along that road there, and someone panicked and buried him somewhere local there. That's just my opinion. And you know what they say about opinions. Everybody's got one, but uh, no, it's like uh, just a sense that uh, a boy had been hit there with a truck somewhere along the road. And uh, the driver kind of freaked out a little bit. And instead of uh, reporting it, just uh, buried the body. I'm going to reading from the Visconti Sforza Golden Tarot deck. And then after this, oh, before I get into it, too. Since that video was released, I'm now working on, it's kind of a follow-up video, although not exactly. It's just the next place on our list of where we went that day. And there is some tie-in because I, I noticed in the EVPs at the bridge that it mentions tunnel. And then at the tunnel, it mentions bridge. So I guess I've told too much right there, probably. Although I have said it before where we were going. So uh, it's a tunnel. And I, we've got some incredible footage. This is probably the best footage we've gotten yet. And it's just wild. It is so wild. Plus tons of EVPs. But we caught two different things on there, which I suspect might be the same entity. But you'll have to wait till it comes out. Oh, and I will tell you folks, this video will be a one-time premiere viewing. After that... I'm taking it down. 
and it will never be seen again in that same format. I might, re might release some of the footage in smaller videos or something like that. I'm not sure yet. But that, that full video after the premiere is going to be taken down and no more video. I don't know what date I'm going live with the premiere, but uh, it will be hopefully soon. I'm going over the EVPs right now. And let me just uh, note, I'm sorry, I, I know y'all want me to get to this reading, but when I'm doing the, the EVPs, I'm transcribing them, that's to kind of give people that qu can't quite make out what they're saying possibly some idea. I'm not trying to lead anyone into thinking anything, you know, and I welcome people I'd always you know, if you think I'm trying to lead you into something, turn off the screen where you can't see what I wrote and listen just to the volume or just to the, the EVPs. And you decide for yourself. I welcome that. If you get something different, that's, that's great. Okay. That being said... On with the reading. Uh, you have. You have the ten of coins. But it's reversed. You might uh, be going into a risky venture. Or something that you're attempting to do. Has bad odds so you may want to rethink whatever plans you have and by the way uh, the element is earth the astrological association is mercury and virgo numerologically it's the number 10 on the tree of life it's malkuth the kingdom the sphere of existence. And the key meanings are property, family, and inheritance. But this is reversed, so it's going to be negative aspects of those things. Because this card reveals communication problems in families as one generation tries to dominate another. Children and parents disagree and have very different attitudes. The card can highlight uh, contention, over a specific issue such as conflict over property or money. Equally, general attitudes toward finances may be at the heart of the problem. This card often comes up in readings to show overly strict parents who try to control their families with money. There is also an issue with status here as traditional values block freedom of expression. Older people may find it hard to accept that their children want to do things differently. And in romantic relationships, things such as money, property issues, and the demand of family get in the way of love. Ambition takes over, and right now the personal life is coming in second. All right, I hope that made some sense. Today, something's telling me that I need to pull an enchanted map card. Let's see what that says. Ah. I'm losing them. Okay. That one dropped out as I was shuffling. So, you have ghost lands. And this means that whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing, 
for rarely do the present and future match up exactly on the enchanted map that is your right life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there, yet you can take measured steps toward a goal or dream. These steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. It's, it's history. Live fully in the present. The now is the most powerful place to put your attention. It, its magic reaches out in every direction, further than the heart and soul can see. So this is saying that this uh, difficulty in this relationship, you know, and the misunderstandings, possibly based on uh, age difference and stuff. For the older person, it's mostly based on nostalgia and thinking about the way things were when they were your age. But things aren't the way they were back in the day. Everything's changed. People grow. People change. And... It's a different time period now, and you can't live in the past. So instead of uh, cutting on other people, just try to take it day by day and live in the moment. Make plans for the future, maybe, but live in the moment. All right. I hope that made some sense. Okay, so now I am going to uh, show you some footage that I've been taking of uh, the bulbs that I've been forcing since uh, November 19th. Well, my hyacinths are looking pretty good. And let me show you the footage. I've taped, it's just been over the last few days, and it's incredible how fast they've shot out, but uh, you can see for yourself, so enjoy. Okay, and please excuse the dirty window, but uh, this one, Come on, focus. There we go, that one's about done blooming. It's done its thing and uh, doesn't really have much smell anymore. But if you look down inside, you can see the blooms forming inside these others. You can't see it on that one quite as good. But these two won't be long. That one you can't quite see. Soon there will be more. And this bloom here has lasted about a week. Almost a week, not quite. And it's still going. And what a day or so makes. Look at these. They're getting ready to flower. They just sprang up almost overnight, two of these. And that one won't be long behind. Neither will that one. They're just shooting up. It's hard to believe all that came from that little bulb. So there you have it. Had to take the stained glass thing down because they were getting too tall. And I'll keep you updated. Okay, I just watered those. 
There's the small bulbs. I keep them in the bottom shelf of the refrigerator because I don't ever have anything down here. And that way, yeah, they're not extremely dirty, but just don't want to keep them above my food. Nothing in the bin either, so uh, it's safe. But they're starting to come up too. It'll soon be time to pull them out also. Okay, I want to show you how fast these suckers are growing. It's been five hours. Since I last took those pictures. And look how much. This is almost completely open. It's starting to smell. This one, probably by tomorrow morning. It's amazing. Oops. All right, early the next morning. This is out. Smells wonderful. It's got like a blue purple there. This one, very close. This one, today, I would say, late today. And this one, very close. So probably by tomorrow, they might all be open. Isn't that amazing? And it smells good too. All right, this is later in the day. That's looking gorgeous. That's coming up. The flowers are popping out. And uh, these are popping out. And that one's dead. But uh, Albert was like, why don't you just throw all the bulbs out? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of rearrange these a little bit. And make some room for. Hold on. One, two, three. The crocuses. And they've got, as you can see, shoots on them. And Albert said, like, uh, you know. Once they get in the heat and sunlight, they'll uh, just take off and, uh, well, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> if they don't, it's Albert's fault. Okay, just came in this morning. And just in a matter of hours. And it's so fragrant. It smells so good. And here we are again. And they are just looking so beautiful. And it smells so good in here. And these are coming up, the crocuses. Even these little ones, I don't know if you can see down inside. They're getting green on them. so happy and they smell so good 
It beats all this closed-in winter stale air. But yes. Next winter, if you live in the north, consider forcing some bulbs. It's easy to do. And it smells so good. It's well worth your time. And they're pretty too. I just discovered this today. Albert had taken one out that I had planted and forgotten about. And uh, it's been blooming all this time. So, uh, isn't that cool? Aren't they lovely? And I wish, I wish somehow you could smell them because it just makes it smell so good. It is incredible. So it looks pretty and it smells good and makes your house smell good. So it's a win-win situation. But anyway, that's all I have now. Um, coming up, maybe tomorrow I'll do some uh, steals and deals. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, but till tomorrow, hope you all have a blessed Friday. Peace, believe, because the spirits are out there. I've, I've filmed them, and I've seen them. Mm-hmm, no doubt in my mind. And until tomorrow, bye-bye. <laughs>